Okay, everybody, we're back live. We're going to be doing a stream of Pebble Go, which is one of our online resources that we have available through Capstone. So first of all, uh, Pebble Go is a wonderful resource, and it's perfect for kids kindergarten through third grade. Uh, first, I'd like to show you how to get to the resource from our website. Well, there's a few ways to do it. The easiest way is to first uh, go into our online library. We could either go to the support suite or to our general online resources page. So by clicking on into the online resources page, you're gonna get to our devoted page with over 85 resources. You can either search alphabetically or you can search by category. So Pebble Go is in our academics category. So I would just scroll down to P. Pebble Go is available without a password, without a login, as long as you get to it from the pgcmls.info website. So as you can see, there's no login screen or anything like that, which is nice and easy to use. So I'm gonna back up just one second. The second way to get into Pebble Go is from these suite pages that we've created over the last month or so. So we've tried to create these suites just to give everybody a quick sneak peek into what some of our featured apps and resources are. So we have the creative suite, the digital, the discovery, and the homework support suite. So throughout these digital demos that we've been doing the past month or so, we're trying to highlight the ones, these resources that really get heavily used and the ones for which we think will really benefit our community. We did BrainFuse Help Now a couple weeks ago. I encourage you to please check that one out. It's an awesome, very powerful resource. Today we're gonna to be doing Pebble Go. Okay. So as you can see, Pebble Go gives you five categories. The home screen is super simple, super crisp. All right, there's not much to it. At the same time, I think that's a that's a benefit for us. Um, so Pebble Go is a safe online environment that really has hundreds of curriculum connected nonfiction articles that are specifically designed for kids K through three. With literacy support, with literacy supports like natural read-along audio and video, PebbleGo keeps kids engaged and makes learning fun. Super easy to navigate as well. It also includes ready-made lessons, activities, and other great Dinosaur. resources. And it will read aloud to you unless you turn your volume down, which I'm gonna do right now. Also nice is are these couple little features at the bottom of each page. We have games and we have the question of the day. So I come from a background of working in the public schools. So I know what kids are probably gonna do right away is they're gonna click into whatever category is their favorite, then they're gonna come down here to the games. So I'm going to use the games as a way to kind of demonstrate um, basically what this site is all about. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, I have some games picked out. So I want to play the animals word scramble game. So there are six games and they are unique to each specific topic. So I'm going to come in here, I'm in animals and I'm going to do a word scramble. All right, kids who are following at home, can you get this before I do? I scoop up prey with my long bill and swallow my food whole. What is it? Yes, indeed, it's the pelican. So there's a couple rounds, nothing too major. Stay away from the Black Widow. All right, who we got? Something hopefully that we won't be seeing in Maryland anytime soon, the python. Although beware, we do have our fair share of diamondbacks. All right, so three, three or four rounds per. Okay, very simple. Um, something to just kind of get the kids involved and engaged. There's always a home button. No matter where you are on the site, you're gonna see those little breadcrumbs right there at the top. I'm gonna to come in here to science. And the second game I'm gonna choose is Zoom. This one's really cool. 
I did this with my daughter the other night, and she got just as many right that I did. So which planet is shown in the picture? I have no idea. Uh, Venus. Nope. So it lets you get the right answer. It really, it really wants you to succeed here. All right. This has got to be Jupiter. All right. Only got two wrong that time. Okay. This looks like the moon, but the moon's not a choice. And it's a planet, so I'm going to say Mars. All right. All right. I got one right. Great. I'm getting better. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is social studies. So I'm going to, again, find my breadcrumbs up here, go back home, come down in here to social studies. You may have also noticed four out of their five categories are entirely in Spanish, which is a wonderful addition, and thanks very much to you, Capstone, for doing that. Um, when they launched years and years ago, they uh, had animals in Spanish and they were working on developing their other content in Spanish as well. So they got to a good enough point where now they have four out of five. Again, social studies and the game that I want to play is the map, the jigsaw. It's going to give us a map of the United States. Click start to make a puzzle of the picture. All right, this, this, this one's tricky. It's not going to be as simple as you think, kids, you're going to actually have to figure out where these pieces go. It's not just going to be the one, the spot that's closest to you. All right. And hopefully there's a little bit of learning involved in this, in this fun, because games really are supposed to activate our minds, but also lead us to that next phase of learning, which is a little bit more structured, nonfiction, informational text. So that is the goal here. This is the old bait and switch. We want you all to come in here, have some fun, see some nice shiny objects that Pebble Go has to offer, and then really uh, switch you on to their informational text. So we do have a couple more games. I'm going to stick with social studies, and we're going to do the multi-match. This one's great because it's all about community helpers. So match the helper with the instrument veterinarian with the dog, the teacher with the classroom, the virtual classroom. Next round, farmer with the tractor, doctor with the stethoscope, dentist with the implement. Next round, child care worker with the child, police officer with the handcuffs, garbage collector. Thank you to all of these essential employees for taking care and watching out for our best interests during this difficult time. We wouldn't be where we are without all the good and wonderful people in Prince George's County watching out for us and everywhere else for that matter. All right, um, I'm gonna go to animals and we're going to do a quick match. All right, quick match. All right, um, is... A grizzly bear, an amphibian? Hmm. No. Okay, good. Is an African penguin a bird? Do we have anybody on Crowdcast or YouTube or Facebook that's willing to um, comment? What do you think? Is the African penguin a bird? Okay. Didn't see any feedback, so I'm just going to go ahead and make my guesses. Is the Black Widow a spider? I think so. All right. Okay, good. We're getting better. We're, we're definitely improving. You can see that Pebble Go is good for me. I'm improving my skills. All right, one more game. We want to go back to social studies, and we're going to do that last game called Check. All right, we're in the wetlands. I'm sorry. I didn't choose the right category. I want to go to social studies and I want to go to the games and I want to play check. All right. This one's really cool because it separates out your trash versus your recycling versus your compost. So kids at home or parents at home, which of these items should we choose for trash? I'm going to give us a few seconds to see if anybody, even Michelle has anything to submit to us. 
Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it myself. Okay, I guess I'll do it myself. Trash. That's recycling. I didn't say that's trash. That definitely looks like trash. Uh... And that's trash. You're not supposed to put moldy meat in the compost, are you? Nope. All right, so what do we put in the compost? A compost bin, kids, is something that you have either in your kitchen or outside that you put old food, things that are organic matter that break down chemically, and they become soil or additives for your soil later on. So you can put things like leaves in there and apples and fruit rinds. Great. And things that you can recycle. They always say paper or plastic or glass. So there we go. All right. Great. Okay, that's the games. Um, before we get into the content, I do also want to show you the question of the day. So each category, what are we in now? Social studies. Each category has a question of the day. And this is just a conversation starter. So parents out there, teachers out there, if you want to get your kids on Pebble Go, you can just create some very simplistic activities, some prompts for them to do on the regular um, that are just very simple. Ask them a question of the day for each one and explain why would you like to do that job? What are the types of people you would help? Um, things like that. So I choose librarian and it's in second place. All right, librarians, hooray. All right, just to show you real quick the different questions that exist, and they do change every day, just in case you're curious. What animal makes the coolest sound? Okay, what animal makes the coolest sound? This is a really good question for the group. Crowdcasters, YouTubers, Facebook folks, if you have any input, please let me know. What animal makes the coolest sound? All right, uh, I'm not getting much from you all. I'm glad you're there. I'm glad you're watching, but I'll have to make my own decisions. It's definitely the howler monkey. Oh, no. The dolphin one? Okay. All right, let's come back a few more. We're going into biographies. Question of the day. Who should have a holiday named after them? I would say mm, this is such a difficult one. Both of these wonderful women defeated so many barriers. I'm going to have to go with Miss Katherine Johnson for this one. All right. Of course. All right. Yep. I'm glad I went with these two instead of these two. All right. Come back one more time. We'll get to the content very shortly, I promise. Thanks for sticking with me. What job would you most like to have? Let's see. Oh, I already did that one. I'm sorry. Which one have I not done? Dinosaurs. All right. Would you rather be a meat-eating or a plant-eating dinosaur? Meat-eater. Or plant-eater. Hmm. Plant-eater. So, parents, this will hopefully give you a little bit of impetus in creating some of your own prompts because you can probably create something that's a little more thought-provoking than what you saw just there with the dinosaurs. Anyway, let's get into the content a little bit. So each Pebble Go article has five slides of content with consistent structure, making the content simple to find and easy to understand. Also, each article suggests, which is nice, two related articles to keep the learning going, as we can see here. The read-along audio and highlight feature on these books, for instance, can be very helpful for certain readers. Also, down here, we've got a little citation button that helps kids become familiar with citing their resources. Uh, when I was teaching, I would always say that kids, you have to hear something seven times for it to really sink in. So this cite button is here because we want the kids to see it. If you're getting information from the internet or from a book or from an encyclopedia or anywhere, and if you're turning this information in and claiming it as your own, this is essential and necessary. 
So the more information we can put in front of children that really simplifies how to cite your sources, the better off we all are. And you won't be caught uh, plagiarizing and people won't accuse you of cheating. So please cite your sources. Also, the article button is great because you can either print just a single page, like if you liked um, the page that we were on, cells, that's great. Or you can print the entire article. So this will be a little bit more all-encompassing and it'll have the entire chapter, so to speak. Activities. Each module on PebbleGo has at least one activities. Many of them have much more than one. And these are printables. These are just worksheets with some prompts with some ideas on there. Something to keep, keep these brains active, keep us moving, keep keeping us thinking. All right. So just a quick overview of types of activities. Also media. Uh, many of the articles have multiple forms of media. So you might see uh, video and you might see audio. And um, let's see, I'll get, to, I'll get, there's a couple other features I'll show you in just a minute. But the video clips are all super short and um, pretty basic. Not much going on there. All right, let's go to, let's go to animals, dinosaurs. All right. Stegosaurus. All right, here we go. So if it's an animal, you're going to also see the range. This is really cool because you can really figure out, get some perspective on where these animals either used to live or currently live. Let me go into a songbirds. It's springtime. Lots of us are waking up and listening to the birds. So let's learn a little bit about some of our Maryland native birds. All right. So it does read aloud to you. They are eight to nine inches, 20 to 23 centimeters tall. Cardinals have a crest on their head. Adult males are bright red. Females are grayish brown. You can enlarge the picture. Sometimes you can click on this red text and it will give you the definition. Let's see what the audio will be for this one. And kids, if you can mimic a bird sound perfectly, They'll call right back to you. Try it. Habitat. Cardinals live in North America and Central America. They build nests in shrubs and small trees. Okay, so for each animal, it gives us a little bit of a roundup about their life cycle, fun facts, food, habitat, body. And then, like I said earlier, each module or article will have two accompanying um, articles that it will kind of siphon you to for further learning. And there's also books available. These are really great too. Um, these are pretty filled with read along audio as well as an option. It doesn't read it to you by default. So I just wanted to show you real quick what a book looks like. And please forgive me as I'm on wireless and I'm not perfectly fast right now, but here we go. Good, we loaded. All right, so it shows you the cover. You can either navigate down here at the bottom or simply on the right set, right hand side of the book. All right, so if you have the play button there, if the play button it, uh, um, highlights itself, then that page will read to you. Not all pages do have read along, but most of them do. Some have music. Okay, so this is obviously like the table of contents in the copyright page. So as you can see, there's no read along audio there, but there is for that one. All about cardinals. The Northern... Okay, I'm not gonna listen to the whole book. You're free to do any of any and all of that on your own time. 
but these books are very digestible for children kindergarten through third grade most of them are anywhere from 15 to 30 pages uh, the amount of text on a page is ideal and developmentally appropriate for this age group and most of the books also feature a glossary and a read more section at the end as well all right so that's Pebble Go, and let me just do a super fast roundup of Pebble Go. So Pebble Go is brought to us by Capstone. They do some great work. Um, so Pebble Go, yes, there are five categories, four in Spanish, which is awesome, and those are newly added. So within each category, you're going to find multiple articles or modules, as they call them. Each one of them some of them have multiple in them so let's go to the internet there will be five content tabs on the top of every single article there will be a read more with two articles that it lists uh, as supplementary material there will be two books that are read-alongs coupled with each article and there each one will also have a site you can print the articles and you will find at least one activity for each one. Many of the articles or modules will also have media embedded on the page as well. At least one version of media, sometimes two or three. And these breadcrumbs will stay here at the top so that you can easily navigate and you don't have to press your back arrow. You'll be able to easily get to the modules that you were previously on. So we've got animals, science, biographies, social studies, and dinosaurs. All right, so again, all of this is Pebble Go from Capstone, and you can get to it from pgcmls.info from our homework support suite, which is part of the online library. Okay, these support suites are here to make things just a little bit more convenient to make our online resources a little bit more digestible. If you would like to see our full offering of online resources, come up here and visit our online library and come into our online resources. And here you'll get over 85 resources complete with help videos as well, brought to you by Niche Academy. And you can always contact us. I'm Steve, and we also have Olivia with us. And we can answer any and all of your questions. And we are happy to be here for you during the closure. And we really hope that these resources are something that you're interested in and that will benefit uh, both you and your kids or students. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. We definitely appreciate you all so much. Cheers.